Hello guys, welcome back to Rack Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to create material radio buttons in Android Studio using Kotlin. You can also use Java, but I am going to use Kotlin in this video. So radio buttons are very helpful when you want to give a multiple option to user and you want user can select only one option. Then at that time, radio button are very helpful. But beginners face lots of difficulty while implementing radio button because there is a two things like radio group and radio button so beginner face lots of difficulty on which thing they have to set and check the idea on chain listener or other thing so we are going to discuss all things in android so well, before starting this video first of all let's see a demo what we are going to make so for this i have to open my phone so i open my phone so we are going to create this application demo project and inside this you can see my by default home is selected but it is your choice whether you want to give a by default option or not now if i click on office you can see button to click and i get the text office so you can also send it to database or whatever you want to use of this data if i click on this one you can see i am getting toast but you can perform anything whatever you want so we are going to create this kind of application in another studio so don't further delay now let's start the video and if you don't like the video now then please like the video and now let's start the video So for this first of all I open my Windows Studio and I go to file the new new project click on empty activity click on next and from here just give any application name so I am just giving here radio button tutorial but you can give whatever you want and I select the language Kotlin but you can select any now the project is created successful and we are ready to write the code so activity main xml file click on split first of all let's wait for a gradle build so now gradle build successful and we are ready to write the code so first of all I am changing the constraint layout to relative layout so I select this one, delete this text to you and make change here. Now one thing I want to say, we have a two things radio group and radio button. So why we have a radio group? Let us suppose we have a multiple button. Let us suppose we have a 10 radio button. So if I want to set an on click listener on each button, then it will going to vary a long task. So for this, what I can do, I can simply pack all the radio button in a single radio group and I can set the ID just on our radio group and then I can use it. So that's why we have to use radio group. And if you have only two button, then you can go with radio button or anything else. But better way to use a radio button, pack radio buttons inside a radio group. So for this, I have to take a radio group here. So just take an open bracket type here, radio group. You can see it is showing here. Now give them with match parent, I wrap content. And I am just setting the margin 20 dp according to my design, but you can set any. And then after this, we have a ID. So just give any ID. So I am just giving here radio group and now close this. So you can see it is created successfully. Now inside this radio group, what do I need? What I need are radio buttons. So for this take an open packet, type here radio button and set the layout with match parent. Height is match parent. Then I set the text home and now I need to give any ID. So this is our radio button one. So I just give the ID name here radio button underscore one and then close this. So you can see first radio button is created here successfully. Now I need five radio buttons. So control C copy and paste it here. Again paste it. Again paste it. Again paste it. And now just need to change the ID name. So this is ID two. And this is the text I can type here office then this is the id name school and id 3 then this is the id 4 and this is the shopping mall and the last one is party and this is our radio button 5 so you can see our radio button is created successfully now i want to tell some properties of this let us suppose i want to change the button color so button tint i set purple 200 so you can change the button color as well so i am copying this line in and pasting it in every radio button now one thing if you want to show a by default a selected option then you can also show so for this you come inside your radio group and then here you need to type here checked button and you need to pass the id of your checked button whichever you want so if you want checked button radio 1 or radio 3 whatever you can pass and it is your choice whether you want to pass this or not i am going to pass it to this time so this is fine so whether you want to pass it or not, it is totally depend on you. So now the XML code is finished. Now let's come inside our main activity.kt and here we need to write the code. So first of all, we need to declare two variables, private latent it where, and one variable is for radio group. So for this, I have to type here radio 
group and the type of the variable is radio group. Second variable is for our button. So private let in it where and radio button. But we are going to use only one variable. You can see we have a five radio button, but we can accommodate it into a single variable. Just see how I am going to do this. So first of all, assign the XML ID into our job into a Kotlin ID. So radio group equal find me by ID r dot id dot radio group. This is fine. Now we need to set an on click listener or we can say on check change listener. So just type here radio group dot set on check change listener take curly braces and after this we need to mention two things here. First thing our group or you can give any name and second thing our checked id. So this checked id will give the variable name of which button is selected. So now we have already a variable a radio button. So I am going to store that id inside our radio button. So radio button equal find view by id r dot id dot we are not going to do this we just simply type here checked id so it will automatically store that id inside this button so you can see now this is very easy we just set an on click lesson or radio group and we are accessing all buttons so now if checked id equal equal r dot id dot radio button one so on that time what i can do here i can display a toast here so toast dot make text application context and i can give here button one clicked then I am concatenating it a space and why I assign the check ID into the radio button to get the text of that button because I can directly access that button but if I want to send the data of my well, let, let us suppose user select male female so on that time I have to send male female on database so I have to get that text so for this I need to find view ID for this button and then I have to just concatenate it a space so I add plus here then toast dot lens shop and then dot show so the radio working of this radio button is that to get the text so this is fine now control c first of all i done a mistake here i need to find here radio button one because if the checked id equal radio button one then i have to show button one clicked and that then that text so control c copy and then control v paste you can also use if else it is your choice i am just going to use if here so if the radio button two is selected then i can so button 2 clicked and I already I am going to automatically get that text because I assign the latest ID inside of a radio button variable then if 3 and 4 and 5 and here 3 4 5 so finally guys our video is ready so now it's time to check our app whether the app is working or not and if it is working fine then we'll end this video and if you have any question then we will can solve that question in your comment section so for checking the app I have to click on Run button so I press on run button and it will start building. So app built successful and it will going to install the application inside our phone and the application installed successfully. So you can see by default office selected, but it is virtual whether you want to get a by default selection or not. And now you can see our button is working fine. So I hope guys you learn something new in this video and now you have a clear cut idea what is radio group, radio button and how to implement both in Android studio. So if you have any questions, just comment down below. I will try to give the answer of every comment. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel and please share the channel. Thank you guys. See you soon in next amazing video. Thank you.